This Tech Quickie is all about the Corsair H110, an extreme performance liquid cooler that uses two 140 millimeter cooling fans on a massive 280 millimeter radiator. We're gonna tell you what you need to know about it and show you how to install it in your gaming system. Your CPU needs cooling. And as the transistors get smaller and smaller and the die sizes shrink, we need even more efficient ways to move the heat away from the CPU and dissipate it to the surrounding air. Modern systems won't run at all without some kind of cooling. So odds are, if your computer's working, you have a cooler in it, but it's probably a stock cooler. These are designed to be compact for maximum compatibility and low cost so they can easily be mass produced. And that, my friends, is where high-performance liquid coolers come in. You can use a small, compact CPU cooler and pump combo unit to move the heat away with the efficiency of water to a large radiator where it can then be dissipated to the air. Smaller liquid coolers using 120 millimeter fans already leave many aftermarket air coolers in the dust, preventing CPU overheating and aiding in overclocking. Just like that. However, what if you could have 36% more surface area by using 140 millimeter fans instead of 120 millimeter fans? The H110 is easy to install if you have a Phillips head screwdriver and you're comfortable opening up the side panel of your case. It comes with not only the cooler, but also two 140 millimeter fans and all of the mounting hardware that you need to mount it on an Intel or an AMD system. The first step is to remove your stock cooler either by removing the clips on AMD or turning each of the four pins on your Intel system counterclockwise. Then remove the CPU fan header from the motherboard and clean off the CPU using a lint-free cloth and 99% isopropyl alcohol. Last but not least, if your case has any fans pre-installed in the holes that you intend to install the H110 in, you'll have to remove those as well, but the C70 does not. Since this is an Intel platform, we're using the Universal Intel backplate, which has mounting holes for 775, 1155, 1156, and 1366. 2011 is done without a backplate. So all we do is put the mounting pegs through the back, apply the adhesive strips, then remove the covers, then position it on the back of the motherboard so that the pegs stick through the holes in the board. The adhesive keeps it in place while you're installing the CPU cooler from the other side. Now installing the fans can be a little bit tricky, but I'm gonna show you guys the way that I find is best. So rather than having the case right side up, I've moved it either onto its side or onto its back so that I can support all of the screws in place and all of the fans in place at the same time. Because this case has rubber grommets in the 140 millimeter mounting holes, I don't need to use the optional washers that are included with the H110. Once I have the fans in place, it'll be less difficult to position the H110 correctly up against the fans. Then all I have to do is fine tune it until the screws go into the holes on the radiator itself. I recommend hand tightening them at first in order to avoid cross-threading the mounting holes. Once a few of them are threaded in, it becomes much simpler to go ahead and use your screwdriver to tighten everything up. I've opted to install the included fans as exhaust fans because the C70 is quite a well-ventilated chassis. However, if I had a tighter chassis that's not as open inside, I might use them as intakes to get better temperatures for my CPU. The flexible tubing on the H110 allows the CPU cooling unit to be easily positioned over the CPU socket. I recommend hand tightening the thumb screws first after carefully aligning them over the back plate and then using the screwdriver. This helps you avoid damaging your motherboard by accidentally driving a screw into the PCB. Once it's time to tighten with the screwdriver, tighten in a cross pattern to avoid putting excess pressure on one side of your processor. Corsair's mounting mechanism is designed to screw in until it stops. That's when you're putting the right amount of pressure on the mounting mechanism. You're almost there. The system looks great compared to having that stock cooler in there. However, these loose wires are probably going to be an issue. Plug the three pin fan connector coming out of the pump unit into the CPU fan header on your motherboard. Each of the radiator fans then need to be plugged into available headers on the motherboard or on a fan controller. If you don't have any available headers, 
then you can plug them directly into your power supply using adapters as well. If you've been following along with our installation guide, then congratulations! Your CPU is now water-cooled. If you haven't been following along, then try a Corsair Hydro Series cooler today to find out why Corsair is the number one seller of CPU liquid cooling systems worldwide. This has been another Tech Quickie. I'm Linus, and I'll see you again next time.